What's good, y'all? your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, your boy is still kind of under the weather. So, that's why I hadn't really posted any extra videos today. I planned on posting a lot more. Um, but I just wasn't really feeling well earlier today. But I've been taking my medicines and feeling a little bit better. And I've been seeing y'all have been hitting me up on Twitter. Apparently, Triple H has uh, made some... Uh, some important revelations on what's going to happen when Monday Night Raw does plan on going to Netflix. I believe he was on the um, um, Pat McAfee show. I don't know if it was today. I, I believe it was today. I could be wrong. But he was on the Pat McAfee show talking about what's going to happen on the Netflix deal. So I was like, all right, I wanted to check this out. It involves the type of content that they're going to be producing on the show of being less pg and more on the you know tv 14 or mature have more mature themes as honestly what we've been seeing recently on monday night raw and on smackdown so i wanted to check this out and see what's going on here um appreciate everyone that was hitting me up on twitter about this let's get right into this one man paul triple eight levesque says WWE will be uncensored on Netflix. On multiple occasions since it was first announced, Paul Triple H Levesque has referred to WWE Raw's upcoming move to Netflix as a game changer. Appearing on the Pat McAfee show on Monday, the WWE chief content officer explained one uh, one of the ways in which his company pres presents um, presence on the streaming. Uh, on the streaming will affect its on-air product pointing to the less restrictive nature of the platform right now just as an example of us being on fox and if the crowd chants holy shit or something much worse they just take the audio sometimes they take the picture and the audio off and it's just a black screen lovex says and we've seen that time and time and time again on fox um Triple H, uh, this is from a tweet, Triple H talking about not needing to censor words and having more flexibility when Raw moves to Netflix. January of 2025 on the Pat McAfee show. Let me go ahead and make this bigger. Small changes or what? Actually, I need to put my headphones on because I didn't even know there was uh, audio to this. Uh, if I could increase the quality, I don't think I can. We're going to play this though real quick. What you'd maybe like to try on Netflix that you're not necessarily afforded being on TV? Absolutely. Hey, we spend large chunks of our time every day. When, when we're not thinking about business at hand now, we're thinking about those moments. So in the fall, um, as the shows shift around, and then once we get to Netflix, Netflix is a completely different animal. It's a streaming mm -hmm. service. How are commercials going to work? How how are breaks going to work? What's mm -hmm. the length of time? What what are the restrictions? What are not restrictions? You know, like right now, um, you know, it, just as an example of us being on Fox, and you know, if the crowd chants "Holy shit" mm -hmm. or something much worse, they just they just take that audio. Sometimes they take the picture and the audio off, and it's just black screen. Oh yeah, you're right. talking about mm -hmm. The Rock. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. The, the Rock. Uh, there was a big message being delivered, and yeah. you guys just want the complete. Nothing. Remember, yeah. that was your decision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, the, and you know, oh, The Rock it, it comes in and like is you sort of kind of can't tell The Rock what to do, right? Like, yeah. what, what, what are we going to tell him? So he does what know. he does. And and I like that. That's crazy that he even said that because when The Rock was on television, he was cursing up a storm. And the networks had to kind of mute it. And I'm sure the networks was like, hey, what's going on here? But it's the fucking Rock. And I know <clears throat> there was a report other wrestlers were feeling like, you know, he get special treatment because of that. And they can't really say what they want to say. Well, he's the fucking rock. So very interesting that he did say that. Uh, McAfee, who provides color commentary for Raw, noted that one such moment earlier this year in a highly anticipated segment involving The Rock, in which Fox repeatedly cut the visual feed because a die, Rocky, die sign could be seen on screen. We all remember that. We won't have those issues with Netflix, uh, Levesque continued the ability to be live globally and ability to have everything seen all at once everywhere. It's a game changing moment. I think in many ways not disparate, uh, not disparage other partners because we want to be everywhere, but that's uh, sort of where the world is heading is streaming services. You see the NFL sticking their toe in the water. The NBA is the nba is every sport is which is true uh nba i think they're going to be trying to do some stuff with netflix i know the nfl have already agreed to do the christmas day games on netflix exclusively so 
he's he's spot on with that i think this is why netflix deal for us is so game changing i think everybody's going to be watching us in january especially those other sports from a business side they're going to be watching to see what we do what we do differently and how that's perceived news of raw being uncensored on netflix will surely be welcomed by wrestling fans and it has been i've been blowing my twitter up many of whom have expressed their desire for the product to be less kid friendly while the attitude there in the late 1990s and the early 2000s 2000s push boundaries in terms of language violence and even nudity wwe has largely adhered to the tv pg guideline PG guidelines in the, in the years since. The pro wrestling giant, however, has quietly gotten back to pushing the boundaries in recent years, and they have. At least as far as the TV partners will let it. Um, come January, however, that won't be an issue with Netflix providing a platform for Raw to be as uncensored as, it, uh, as it's ever been. And that's crazy when you think about it, bro. We are really in a different time now where... Monday Night Raw will be raw. <laughs> I mean, we seen, we're we seeing it now. That Uncle Howdy segment last week on Raw, there was blood. There was There's the impression that people were attacked and damn near murdered. Implied, not legitimately, but you get what I'm saying. They're cursing more. There's more sexual themes, adult themes. Not too gratuitous, but it's more adult. We're seeing blood on PLEs. So there's a good chance we may even start seeing a little bit more blood when it's called for on the regular shows. And this works in a sense, especially with some of these blood feuds. Like CM Punk and Drew McIntyre, their feud has not been PG at all. We saw on Fox, they let them bleed on Fox. Drew legitimately killed CM Punk on Fox. Which is crazy. We got a holy shit chant on Fox. You know? They've been allowing them. And, and Fox is very strict too. So I don't know. I think Fox is moving. I mean, um, SmackDown's moving to um, Netflix. Uh, not Netflix. Um, SmackDown's moving to um, a USA. And I can see maybe if things go well with Monday Night Raw, which I, I think it could. I can see SmackDown being picked up by Netflix as well, especially if WWE see things are going well. Netflix sees things going well. They'll, they could potentially have uh, Monday Night Raw on Mondays and then on Friday nights have Netflix pick up SmackDown. And once again, they're all streaming at one time. So it, it hits everywhere to everybody who has Netflix. So I think this is awesome. We are in truly a new era, an era we hadn't seen in so long. And the fact that we're going to get more mature themes, they've been doing it now, slowly implementing it. But I think it's going to be even it's going to be even turned up more because Netflix doesn't have those type of restrictions. They don't. So I, I think this is pretty amazing. I think this is dope. And I just think certain things should be more adult themed. You should allow your wrestlers to seem more like real people. If I'm mad, there's a good chance I may curse. It doesn't have to be gratuitous, but there's a good chance I may curse. If I'm you attack me and you screw me out of a championship match, there's a good chance I'm going to want blood. I'm going to want to get my revenge. Or if someone injured me storyline-wise for months, there's a good chance I'm going to want to get my revenge. And it may, there may be, it may get a little bit intense. That's what makes it more compelling because I can get lost in someone's story if they got screwed over, got attacked, got bloodied, and then they wanted their revenge and they got some blood themselves. It doesn't have to be all the time. It can, it can make sense within a story, make sense within a match. I'm all for it. And we're seeing shades of it just on television. So imagine what's going to happen when they get to Netflix. Monday Night Raw will be Raw on Netflix can't wait to see it triple h is already giving the okay signal so i'm looking forward to it man but i had to talk about this comment down below let me know how y'all feeling about what triple h had talked about in regards to netflix and how they're going to be running the shows a little bit more uncensored on netflix is this a good idea are you guys excited about it or do you guys think it should still be some type of censoring like y'all let me know how y'all feel about it because i see a lot of y'all are pro what 
uh, Triple H has said, and me too. I think the uncensored side of things, it's a little bit better. And not in a sense of, once again, too gratuitous, too much blood, too much cursing. But where it makes sense. When they don't overdo it, but it makes sense to have it. And I think that's what they mean by a little bit more on the edgier side. But I appreciate all the love and support. Rose 50k. And I'm still in the speedy YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.